So, Frankie Detorium, one of our magnificent seven. Can Leon van Rigsburg have a supersonic six? It's a three mile hurdle, and dead patriarch for Darren Thompson is going to try and stop him. So is Broadway Invader for Hems. Rage in a cage, Joshua Sutherland. Burst of energy, Alex Cherry. Island Hopper, Darren House. Timeless Sugars for Davy Ladd. Polar Mare for Hems. Truffle Piggy for Joshua Sutherland. Clownfish and Recruiting Agent are the two who are going to go for the super six. Piverina and Poppy Elise for Martellidum. Demolishing Destroyer and Raja Princess for Paul Rhodes. And Mini Move for Graham Clutterbuck. They're off and racing. Everybody's eyes on the Leon Van Rensburg pair. Blue jackets and yellow hats. And Poppy Elise is the early leader. From Rage in a Cage. And then Dead Patriarch. And a bit of a gap to Raja Princess and Burst of Energy. Then Island Hopper and Piverina. And they're pretty tightly packed with the exception of the leading three. And Poppy Elise is just in front of these hurdles. Oh, Tiny compared to those ones at Oi Toy, don't they? And Regina right Gage on the outside of Popular least Dead Patriot between the two. That's the leading three as they run past the water jump. And on down towards flight two of the twelve. And they're all over that one, okay. And Poppy Elise just in front from Dead Patriot and Regina Cage. And a gap to the main group who are headed by Piverina as they take number three. And towards the back, Timeless Sugars is just the back marker. Truffle Piggy is alongside that one, so let's see uphill then now. Uh, Dead Patriarch has just about poked its head in front from Poppy Elise in second, and then Rage in a Cage. Gap off three lengths to the rest, who are headed by Broadway Invader now, who's the one going widest on the track as they take flight number four. Uh, all over that one, okay. I should think they'll all get over all these, okay, because those. Hurdles look so small, I think it would be impossible to fall over them. But it's popular lease in the lead. I'm raging a cage and dead patriarch as they're racing downhill now. And then Broadway Invader is fourth and Piverina is fifth. Raja Princess is next. And then Demolishing Destroyer and Burst of Energy, Recruiting Agent and Mini Moo are next. Then Clownfish and Island Hopper, Polar Mare, Timeless Sugars and finally Truffle Piggy. As they race towards the final two miles, this final race of Trials Day 3 and if you haven't been watching the first five of the jumps races all went to Leon Van Rensburg and he's going for a clean sweep in this one as they skip over flight number five Rage in a Cage Poppy Elise and Dead Patriarch on the leading three from Broadway Invader and Piverina and Burst of Energy and Demolishing Destroyer and Raja Princess, Recruiting Agents after that one. Then Mini Moo, Polar Mare, Clownfish. And he's trying to get a bit closer. The back three are Timeless Sugars, Truffle Piggy, and finally Island Hopper. And down towards the next end. Poppy Elise probably just in the lead from Rage in a Cage, but not much between those two as they race together. And skip over the next flight and all over that one safely jumping it pretty well that'll be the final flight next time round they're gonna swing left-handed and take one more circuit of the track left hand down chaps one more time and then trials day three will be over and we've learnt quite a bit I think if we take what we've learnt and add it to what we've learnt from the forums time to sugar is being pulled up as well at the back so that's the first one out of the race Probably get a couple more pulled up before too long. And Poppy Elise and Rage in a Cage still disputing the lead. With Dead Patriarch a length or so back. The chasing pack are beginning to close though as they come to flight seven. And the mistake there by Dead Patriarch. I think I've got to see that leading group down to just two now then. Oh, Dead Patriarch is being scrubbed along. Try and get back to the first two. This is flight eight, and over that one, Poppy Elise landed in front from Rage in a Cage second. Island Hopper's been pulled up at the back now, and Dead Patriarch is third. Then Burst of Energy, Broadway Invader, Piverina. Here come the Van Rensburg pair running together as they take flight number nine. Poppy Elise is still just about in the lead from Rage in a Cage. Then Dead Patriarch is now running on again. Then Burst of Energy, Piverina, Broadway Invader. Then come Clownfish and Recruiting Agent, the two Van Rensburg horses. Mini moves after that one. Then Truff 
Awful Piggy, Raja Princess and Polar Mare Demolishing Destroyer has been pulled up at the back now as well. And Rage in a Cage has gone on as Populist appears to have hit a bit of a wall. Coming to the third last flight. And Rage in a Cage is over it in front from Dead Patriot. Populist now dropping back through the pack. Piverina and Broadway and Vader go past her next. But it's now Rage in a Cage in front racing downhill. Just two more flights to go. A little bit more than five furlongs still to race. And it's Rage in a Cage from Broadway Invader in second. Dead Patriarch is third, but look who's fourth and fifth. It's Clownfish and Recruiting Agent. Then Mini Moo, then Piverina. They've only got two more flights to take. They've only got four furlongs to race. And it's Rage in a Cage and Broadway Invader. Coming up there on the outside now is, I think it's Mini Moo. There's one being pulled up at the back. That's another Paul Rhodes horse. That's Raja Princess that's gone. But now it's the Sutherland Pair in the front as they take the second last. It's Rage in a Cage, but here comes Clownfish. Clownfish trying to challenge in second. Then Truffle Piggy, Polar Mare, Recruiting Agent. They've got one more flight to take. It's Rage in a Cage. Clownfish is trying to become the Super Six. Clownfish gets his head in front. It's Clownfish in the lead from Rage in a Cage. Clownfish in front by half a length, by three quarters of a length, by a length. One more flight to take. Clownfish and Leon Van Rensburg in the lead. He's about a furlong and a half away from creating history and winning all of the trials races. It's Clownfish. Clownfish in the lead. Clownfish comes to the final flight. Clownfish is in front and not settling for that. His other one recruiting agents moving into second. It's Clownfish in the lead over the final flight. Clownfish lands in the lead. Then recruiting agent raging a cage is trying to battle back. Big gap to Mini Rue, but they're not going to catch him. And it's a win for Clownfish. That was a very short running from that final flight, wasn't it? And not quite sure that that flight should be there, to be honest, but. Um, Far too short of running for Cheltenham there, but Clownfish has taken it and he's done it. Leon Van Rensburg, take a bow. You've just won all six of the trials races. I'm sure quite a few people are tearing their hair out, but everybody is going to tip their hat to you there. Clownfish takes it for a Leon Van Rensburg Super Six. Who needs Frankie Dittori when you've got Leon Van Rensburg? So Clownfish takes it. Joshua Sutherland second for Raging a Cage. Recruiting agent for Leon Van Rensburg again was third. Mini move for Pontypool Racing was fourth. Broadway Invader for Hems was fifth. Everybody else, you better get breeding. You better get practicing before the season starts. Leon Van Rensburg, you've got to have a rest, mate.